हेलो वेलकम टू टेक योर टाइम दिस इज़ सोम जिदास दिस इज़ द फिफ्थ वीडियो ऑफ फ्लो सीरीज एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस थ्री डिफरेंट ऑपरेटर्स ऑफ फ्लो दैट दोज आर मैप फिल्टर एंड टेक नाउ फ्लोज कैन बी ट्रांसफॉर्म्ड विथ ऑपरेटर्स लाइक वॉट वी डू विथ कलेक्शन एंड सिक्वेंसेज दैट वी ऑलरेडी नो इंटरमीडिएट ऑपरेटर्स आर अप्लाइड टू अन अपस्ट्रीम फ्लो and that returns a downstream flow the operators are called basically for flow the operators are called just how the flow is uh, so most of the operators uh, that you will be seeing in flow they will take blocks of code as lambda for the call of operators and these blocks of codes inside the operators can call even suspending functions so if you want to hit another api or do any db operations or any asynchronous long running process you can do it through the call of this operators now as we already to, uh, discussed the operators that we will be discussing today is map filter and take so we should be getting started so the first one that you see over here is map then i have for you filter here and then we will be discussing take as well as take file i will discuss all these things with proper examples now first let's start map so why map is used map is used as an operator which takes a particular type of data and produces a different type of data and this operation that will be Uh, that will be transferring one type to another type this will be the job of map and that is what you have to define so any flow of incoming request can be mapped to the result with map operator the lambda that we will be passing in map call that is having a suspend modifier so if you just see in the map method that this map method takes a uh, takes a, a parameter which is uh, which is a suspend modifier so what it helps us is that if you are coming from rx background you can remember that we used to do any sort of synchronous operations or synchronous transfer through map but in case we need to do any asynchronous operations we used to go for flat map right asynchronous as in what i am trying to say is if you were having a stream and for every uh, particular uh, data out of that stream maybe you have to hit an api call or do some db operations in that case we used to rely on flat map instead of map but as we have seen here in case of kotlin flow map itself takes a suspend modifier uh, lambda suspend modified lambda so it will be helpful to to call a suspend function as well as normal functions so you don't have to uh, remember different uh, maps or flat maps or different operators for different use cases map can suffice in both the cases that we will see later on in the example itself now if we think of filtering so filtering it works as per the name suggests so it works on the incoming flow and it returns a flow containing only the values of the original flow that matches with the past predicate so in the filter if you see this is a predicate that we will be passing so and that predicate also is the that predicate also is marked marked with suspend modifier so if your filtering process you know is a long running task then also flow you using flow you don't have to act separately for that one again we will be discussing with an example for the same here also and now the next is take and take while so first let us go to take so here take is actually a size limiting operator it cancels the execution of flow 
when the corresponding limit is reached so again if i say that here if you see take takes a count and it's a self explanatory block of code there is 1 to 4 1 to 10 items that will be coming as flow and we will only take first four elements that's what take suggests and take while it's also similar here the here what happens is it returns a flow containing the elements from the original flow which satisfies the given predicate satisfies as in if you see that here when this run blocking code starts before that i am taking the starting time and the predicate here shows that if the current time minus the starting time is less than 10 millisecond till that time this flow will work and afterwards this uh, flow execution of flow will get stopped so that's what it is now let us jump into the examples one by one so first let's see map and we already told map can work in both the cases with a normal function here if you see with a suspend function here is that now for the first case what we are doing we are 1 to 3 we are converting that to a flow and and we are uh, for every item from the flow we are doing a operation which is sync operation sync as in it's not a background operation it's a normal operation that's why i named it like that and so what it does is it takes one item that will be an integer and it will give give a string using that integer and when we will be collecting we should see these strings with using these integers coming from this flow now the same here play with map suspend this function this is what it it is doing it is giving call to perform request function this one which is again using one item i mean every item from the flow and there is a delay if you see and the function has been marked with suspend modifier so we can think of that this is a suspend function which will be passed to the uh, uh, to the map operator for each and every item from the flow and what it does it has a delay of 300 millisecond and then it it uh, works for the mapping and it returns a string using those integers now why i have used this delay this delay you can think of a long running asynchronous work so from this we can actually assume that's that if our use case is like that for every number we have to hit an api call or a db operation that can happen over here and we can return back the value and map will take care for the rest of the things now for filtering what i have done is it's same 1 to 10 as flow and i have filtered the only odd numbers again sync sync as in it's what i have done is here just a normal uh, uh, normal uh, op uh, operation that i am doing and it will be returning only the odd elements so that's what it is and it is happening in as a sync manner not a background operations i have here uh, i have not imitated any background operations here but the same one here is like if you see that this is play with filter suspend which calls a suspend function again this is a imitation of normal asynchronous work and again i am returning back the filter uh, returning back if that is odd number or not and take and take while i have already discussed so now let's just quickly see the outputs for everything so if you see play with map sync so this is what i will just give a click to so if you see response in sync 1 response in sync 2 response in sync 3 as we already know kotlin flow works sequentially so after one item has been propagated from upstream to downstream then only the next one goes so one came we had go, it goes to the map operations perform sync operation here one here from here one comes to here and response in sync one 
is created it goes back here and then the collect it is printed so response in one response in sync one is printed and then afterwards two comes into picture and simultaneously three comes into picture so that's how it is happening so let's just quickly give a call to map suspend so this function so if you see one two three there was a delay for each and every item in order to generate and that is what the if we imitate uh, that is what it is so there is a delay we have provided which is the emit i mean which is even i have written over here it's imitating the long running asynchronous work that's what it is so it is it so from these two examples we can actually conclude that map works pretty good in terms of suspend functions also so you don't have to think of flat map and map and op, uh, you know uh, think of these two as separate uh, separate operators like we used to think in rx it's just it's just one operator like map which works in both the cases if you if we are working with kotlin flow now the next one is filter so filter sync is something we will be calling this function so we are giving a call so if you see 1 to 10 and the filtering is happening so 1 3 5 7 9 all this came up so it is giving a call to this and it's only it checks that this one is uh, what do you say this one is odd or not if that is odd then it is propagating downwards and it is coming here and we are printing now we will be doing play with filter suspend so it will be the same thing but for every item there will be a delay which is again we can think of a long running asynchronous task so why this is i am writing even for filter so let's just think of a scenario that for every item that is coming the the filtering process will be done in the server itself so you have to hit an api with the number here it is coming and when the number goes to your server your server takes uh, your server states you with the response that okay this should go downstream or the this should be blocked so in those scenarios you can think of using filter with suspend functions like what how, how i have used here so we'll just give a call to filter suspend and see so if you see one three five seven nine that came but with some delay now we'll take a look at play with take example so what it does one to ten it will just take the first four so one two three four that's what is expected in the output so if you see one two three four is here in the output and rest of them are not coming because the execution has stopped once the count reaches four now we'll just see play with take while what it does it will work till the time your current time minus start time is less than 10 millisecond and as soon as it goes beyond 10 millisecond the operation will stop so in the meantime in the 10 millisecond there might be some 100 items that will come or maybe some less some more we don't we cannot cannot define a particular number here but the but it it should not be that the flow reaches till the end like it reaches 1 to 1000 it should be before that so we'll just run it and see the output okay as you have seen till 68 it can print and till 6 it can print within 10 millisecond of starting so that's it basically for this video in this video again we have discussed map filter and take these three operators maybe in the next video we will have a look in zip combine and conflate operators till then have a good time thank you and if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe to my channel take your time and uh, that's it have a good day we'll see you in the next video take care bye